It's the biggest night in TV, the 70th annual Primetime Emmy Awards set to air tonight on NBC. The big question this year is if Netflix will dominate the evening. Julia Borston in Los Angeles with a look. Julia. Well, Scott, for the first time, Netflix has surpassed HBO's nominations, ending its 17-year dominance with the awards show. Now, this year, Netflix drew 112 nominations, topping HBO's 108 nominations, followed then by NBC with 78, FX with 50, CBS with 35, and then ABC with 31. Now, a sign of the growing power of the streamers, though, Hulu and Amazon both have more nominations than ever. Hulu with 27, thanks to its hit Handmaid's Tale, which got 20 nominations, and Amazon has 22 nominations. Now, though HBO lost its top spot going into the award show, its Game of Thrones still has more nominations than any other single show, 22, followed by another HBO show, Westworld, which has 21 tied with NBC's Saturday Night Live. Now, the outcome of tonight's awards for Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon could be a powerful indicator of whether these companies' massive investments in original content can earn them the critical acclaim of the longtime leader at the Emmys, HBO, which is now newly owned by AT&T. Now, Netflix shares hit an all-time high back in March after it won its first Oscar for a feature-length film for its documentary, Icarus. Right now, Netflix is drawing accolades out of the Toronto International Film Festival for its feature film, Roma, already drawing some talk of Oscar buzz for Best Picture. But there's still questions of whether the Academy is re ready to give Netflix that kind of critical acclaim and what kind of qualifying run in theaters Netflix will give that film. So, Scott, certainly a fascinating time to watch these streamers compete with the traditional entertainment giants. Yeah, that's going to be really interesting to see. Julia, thank you very much. Let's trade Netflix. Is it going to move as a result of what happens at the Emmys? It used to. I mean, you know, if you think about the early days of where this company had to prove itself in the content space, they certainly did. I've been very critical of Netflix and, and largely wrong. I, I also believe that a lot of the content that they've created and they're up for Emmys, um, I think is, I call it cyborg content. I think they're able to crank it out and it's basically based upon data that they know people are going to watch. Having said that, they're the only ones that can create stuff that quickly, and it seems to be working, so maybe I'm wrong. And it, it appears that they're uh, having a seat at the big boy table at this point, where at first it was sort of a fluke that they won or something that was out of their element, and now they're really oh, in they're there. Oh, they're firmly at the big they're, boy they're table. They're firmly in there. So I think it's their game to lose. It's up 83% year-to-date, and it seems to be being bought on dips. Well, what, about so this, what, what, about, what about the pullback in tech, right? It's, it's caught up in that. Not that you think of tariffs that have anything to do with a Netflix, for example. It could, be, it could be caught up in that. It is caught up in that. But I think ultimately when people look at growth versus value, when you go out another couple of months, people are not going to be satisfied with a cat tractor that's up or down 7%. They want a Netflix that's up 83% year to date. That's where you outperform the market. Don't you think, though, that the stock is really going to react to whatever the, la the next earnings are? The last earnings were, you know, a huge miss. Regardless of how they do tonight, and I love some of their shows, don't you think it's about sub growth? Sub growth. And... Yes. Sure, Which sure. It's related, of course, but as the most important metric to this stock. Without question, but we're talking about a myopic view on the stock based on the Emmys. And when, if they come away with, with a boat full of Emmys, you should see a pop in the stock.